Hello developers and friends, welcome to your favorite channel, Ife Mesa. This is your number one channel to learn how to grow to become being a beginner, becoming a pro web developer. So today I'll be building a simple web app, web, web, web website which, which, which displays the weather. So it's a weather app. This is a very simple tutorial. Remember to subscribe and press on the notification bar. So we'll be using, all we'll be using will be the, the API from weather, openweathermap.org. So this is, this is how it simply does. Let me show you an example. If I say, if I want any city, let's say I want to type Paris. They press enter it collects the details let's say london okay let's say london it collects the details and it is displayed we made it wind and and the weather if i if i if i type the wrong city let's say i do this and it it will display a red then you see a red bar that that, that, that appears it shows that that, shows that, that that there is an error so just what watch along with me in this tutorial okay this is my startup this is my startup file you, I will leave the link inside the description. Make sure that you download this file so that you can cool down alongside me. So this will save up time to install applications. So I'm taking this file to my to my Visual Studio Code editor. Then I'm going to maximize this terminal. Then we are going to install or run our terminal. So make sure that you are in the right directory by just typing list. And you see that you're in the right direction. So we're going to install all the dependencies using npm install. So this will take time. I'm not going to pause the video. Then I'll come back when it is finished installing. So I finished running. Let me run now npm start to start my development server. To successfully run our development server at npm start. So if I come inside my my code edit i can see why it is blank it is because these these are empty start off by opening and closing brackets make sure that they are there then let's give some material you we are going to import import text field using from material material mui then we are going to nextly create a div that to, that is inside that is wrapping up everything let's give it a, a a class name of pg underscore img this is the class name then let's get the text field inside inside the text field i'm going to create okay you might want to check some progress they can see we have created a text field there then let's give it some properties a label for search location then also a class input of input they can see the search location and the class input input then let's now add some create some space between then let's add the h1 tag for class name city and then we add the h1 tags rom then after doing that you add a new div class name that shall give it a class name of group then let's add an image with the source and out this and then add h1 text this h1 text i will just add the text clear Here you can see it has appeared then let's add another h1 text with class name temp then let's add just add five degrees this is just for five degrees then let's add a slider and closing slider then i'll give it a direction to the right side then time out 800 seconds then let's comment it out also comment out the closing slider and let's get inside the slider i'm going to get a div class new div which creates some spacing which i shall give it box container then i'll create a sub div which I shall give a class name of box. Then I create a paragraph text. Then inside the paragraph text, I'm going to add text humidity. Then H1 text, I'm going to give it just like 10%. Then I'll give a div class name. Then I'll add a class name of box. Then paragraph text. Then wind is the class name. Then I have H1 text, which I shall give seven. Then let's add a div class name box, other div with class name box. 
then we'll give a paragraph text then fill inside then I'll give h1 text of 6 degrees Celsius let me come in let us come and take a look at what we have done so far you can see the text that has appeared there we are this is progress that we've made so far so now i'm going to go back inside my browser and i want to to display this one side by side so before i go side by side you can see that inside our la our image on line 12 we have got an image that we want to fill in here so for the source i'm going to use this web page called open open web map that is where i'm going to get a source, the source image so here you can take a look yeah so now i'm going to go inside my app css file they can see the images come out is loaded now from from up J, jsx i'm going to go to inside the app css file this way, this way we're going to style our solution so i'm going to say background we're going to sell the background then create some spacing i hope you can if i can minimize this one like this width we're going to give it 100 percent then minimum height 100 percent then background i'm going to set it to a background of no repeat and then center and center cover everything the background image the background image is inside our images file this one so this one that we are using so now i'm going to use go in styling i'm going to say display flexi just for content center and align item to the center then flexi direction column then we're gonna have a color of white for the image background image they can see the color is turned to white so now i'm going to say for the input then for the input i'm going to give you a background color so that you can see that is now much more visible then let's tell the group the group i hope you can see the class name group this is the class name that we're going to start nextly this one so we're going to go inside our okay i can i can just collapse this one so that you can see what i'm talking about so now i'm just going to for the group i'm going to give it a display of flexi gap 10 pixels then align items to the center then margin one one ram top and bottom then left and right zero then i'm going to style the city this is the class name city that we are referring to this one for the ct i'm going to say margin top two rams then for the city temp temperature class name then let's set font size of three rams then let's tell the box container this one this is the box container that we're going to start i'm going to create some space margin top two rams then display flexi then align item to the center then just for content center then cap of 25 pixels this aligns everything to do to the like to the center of the solution now we're going to start the box these are the individual class names that are inside there you can see the box there so we're going to say for the box i'm going to say let me create some spacing and painting one ram all over but i read 12 pixels background color and let's save a you can see the background color of black then let's save a width of 20 20 pixels and text align to the center then display flexi then flexi direction column then gap of 10 pixels then transition transform 0.2 seconds then you can see then let's have a box offer effect over these patterns over these classes of boxes when every time when i over i want a transform scale of one 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 they can see on overing there's a there's a change along it's a scale is in enlargement now let's set some media queries for media view so that on small screens like this one it's more visible i'm going to give if it a background image padding of two rams and zero 
the inbox box, box container I'm going to give it a flexi direction of column here so that it moves away from row direction then boxy and input I'm going to give it a width of 70 percent they can see they can see it's just just like what you already wanted I can now go on black screens they can see so now I'm going to go inside my browser and we are now going to work on the we are now going to work on the on fetching the API from 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 openwebmap.org a use effect so this is the use effect that we are going to use here when you are fetching the data this is the use effect for fetching the command use effect so now inside the fetch i'm going to paste a api link to our to where i'm going to collect our data so i pasted the the, the link you can check out in my github repository for, for download the source code and you'll find this link to our api as you can see from the browser i'm saying the city name is not defined so let's come inside our coding and let's define the city name so i've defined the city name using const city name and set city name because you state city name so now let's come here and let's create some spacing i want to add some func some functionality of if then raise open brackets is a new function if 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 raise dot status is, is identical to 200 return json file return raise dot json file else or else throw a new error something went wrong then data is a new function is directed to console dot logo dot data this data that data will be displayed now I want to come inside my function in below. There I'm going to create a new constant called const input text set input text equals to state. So I'm going to come inside our input. Here is our input. I'm going to give this one our input. I'm going to say let me create some spacing so that my code looks smarter. So now I'm going to add a value. The value is called input text, the one that we have declared right at the top there. So I come below, let me give it another new value. On change E, set input text equals to E target value. So now we're going to come here below our this one. That is where we're going to address to the target value. So I'm going to go below here. Okay, we are going to say console console.log and then let's see if this e target value okay let me go inside my browser this error so i need to come inside my coding and let's change this one to input input text now i'm going to declare a const data data set use state i'm going then i'm also going to declare an error and set error to use state false by default then i'm also going to declare a loading and set loading use state now we'll like you can say if raise status is identical to zero let's give in some data they losing errors error and set error to false then come here and change the one that was before and set it to data then we will come here and set if dot catch is equal to set error for true then finally we we set it to set loading to false i left here inside bracket so i'm going to give the values of city name and era then i come here inside my coding underneath let's give an era input so on key handle i've here handle search we have added to the text field so 
we are going to replace this we are going to replace this console log okay you can see i've set constant handle search this one that we want to click down we have set it to enter when every time when it enter every time when you press on the enter keyboard you are set the city name to target the one that has been targeted by the input value then also set the input text to empty now i'm going to highlight everything i want everything that is inside from the text field here i want to highlight everything up to here just cut it out and paste it somewhere so that it is safe in here and open some brackets and say if not loading okay in small letters if not loading open and closing brackets then let's paste the in all the information that we that we copy that we cut in if not I left out a question mark let's place a question mark there yeah if not loading we need to cut it cut it out again up to there then cut it then give some opening and closing like these ones open and closing unnamed brackets then you paste in inside okay then then i also want to add another circular progress circular progress function function so that that's how you move the last bracket the last error mean solved from the browser saying circular progress is not defined so we need to go inside and define it inside our coding as you can see we have added a, a function we've imported circular progress but if you come inside the browser you can see that it's saying it's not imported so what i'm going to do i'm going to go right up to the top of the page here that's where we are going to add a circular progress and let's come inside our browser and check Yeah, it will be better and then it will display. So we have now successfully imported circular progress. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to display it side by side so that we can see what we are doing. So now if I come inside this browser and then I collapse these ones. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to comment out our, our slides so that our slides can appear. If I, yeah, let's do it like this one. Let's remove slides. then i also have to remove slide now because we have a slide we now need to import slides on top of our from material ui here there you can see so i'm going to add on import circular progress i'm going to add material a slide okay okay like this remove here then we come on to our slide this is where we are going to add slide so now we're going to add here yeah, our slide you can see that it is saying that we have we we must import slide slide so we're going to set slide they can see the text has come out okay so now i'm going to go inside my 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 slide i'm going to add a proper some properties for sliding yeah this is where i'm going to set in loading to loading to not loading if i reload it you can see it now comes out so you can see the difference when i when i didn't have this if i cut it you can see
can see that it's not visible it times out after every sec after every 800 seconds so if i if i paste it backwards you can see that it will come out correctly like okay let me reload the page they can see it has come out the inloading the slide is successfully happened they can see our slide over uh, there you can see our slide is come out so now after that now is the time where we this this most important part of this which is more like finishing off our project i'm now going to re be replacing the the uh, the static data with, with the real data like in this case i must remove the the rom text also the source one this source that we have we don't want it to be static so we have to remove it and leave like that one then we also need to remove this clear one we don't want it to be static then we're also going to remove this one so now i'm not going to be replacing them with some with some reference where we will get the new details so as you can see the rom checks i've replaced it with the dynamic data dot name then also i've changed the 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 url for our image you can get this new url image from our from from inside the code inside the code the most important that we have said in we have said that we said that the image can be changed using da, inside the bracket data dot weather dot icon now i'm now going to go for the h1 tags we have now set data to main dot tmp dot fix for our humidity so nextly we are going to delete these static values numerical values okay and this one as well we're not going to replace them with static values so that the the, the, the details can be uploaded live you can see online 72 i've set the data dot main humidity to fix and online surfing data dot wind speed to fix kilometers per hour then online online 82 we have replaced the static data with the data dot main fields dot like dot fix this will collect our our figures from live from the inter for live from the ipi a okay yes yeah, soon after collecting this data they can see so now i'm going to you can actually see that the data is actually changed. we now have got 6 96 percent one kilometer per hour so now i'm not going to say go on a full screen then let me say if i want to say beijing let me say moscow moscow if i say enter they can see the details they collect let's say cape town You can see it writes an error if I but if I spell the spelling correctly like this they can see the spelling comes already and if you type the wrong city you can see there's nothing that happens let's say Washington you can see the weather article uh, so this was it there for the for the challenge I hope you like don't forget remember to subscribe and press on the notification button watch continue watching all this content thank you